Hello internet, welcome back, I'm Dan, and uh, like I just said, welcome back to my let's play of Mass Effect 1. Last time we left off, we just completed the uh, mission on Eden Prime, and now we're on our way to the Citadel. First we gotta get some, uh, first we gotta get some character crap out of the way. Ew, Paragon. I'm going for some Renegade. I don't want no dirty Paragon. Is there something in there? How did you end up serving on the Renegade ship? I enlisted right out of med school. But I thought we'd see boring to me. Too safe. Too secure. I figured the colonies were tender with exceptional adventure. I wanted to travel the stars, tending the wounds of tough soldiers with piercing eyes and sensitive souls. Turns out military life isn't quite as romantic as I'd imagine. But humanity needs the Alliance if we want to keep expanding through the traverse. And the Alliance always needs good doctors. So I stayed up to do my part. Do you think you made the wrong choice? Sometimes I think about opening a private practice back in Or maybe taking a position in one of the new med centers out in the gardens. But there's something special about working for soldiers. If I left the Alliance now, I'd feel like I was abandoned. What do you know about Captain Anderson? I've served with him for a few tours now. He knows how to let things slide and how to crack the whip. The crew knows he's seen pretty much anything they'll ever run into. But he cares about the people under his command. How do you know the lieutenant? I've never worked with him before this mission. But he has an impressive service record. Over a dozen special commendations. He tends to keep to himself then. Maybe because of the headaches. It's not easy being an LT. What does that have to do with it? Well, most biotics now use the L3 models. Lieutenant Alenko was one of the old L2 populations. Sometimes they are complications. What kind of complications? Severe mental disabilities, insanity, crippling physical pain. There's a long list of horrific side effects. Clayton's lucky. He just gets migraines. We should go. Right, you know. I'm glad you're okay, Kennedy. We could use some good news after we have the Jenkins. When your number comes up, it's over. He's dead. That's grim, Commander. I guess I shouldn't be surprised, though. Not after I told him. It must have been hell. Every time we kill, it gets a little easier. With all due respect, I'm glad you're on our side. Things were pretty rough down there. Are you okay? I've seen friends die before. Come to being in the way. But to see my whole unit wiped out. And you never get used to seeing dead civilians. But things would have been a lot worse if you had to show We couldn't have done it without you, Williams. Thanks, Commander. I have to admit, I was a little worried about being assigned to the hierarchy. It's nice when someone makes you feel right. I think you're gonna put in here just for your purposes. Thanks, man. <sighs> Alright, I may act a little paragon just with some of the crew members so I can unlock their stories and stuff. But most of the time, I'm gonna be a flat out dick. Or in Femshep's case, a bitch. Just about to bring us into the Citadel. 
Outrage! The Council would step in if the Geth attacked a Turian colony? The Turians don't found colonies on the borders of the Terminus systems, Ambassador. Humanity was well aware of the risks when we came to the Traverse. What about Sarah? You can't just ignore a rogue specter. I demand action. You don't get to make demands of the Council, Ambassador. Citadel Security is investigating your charges against Sarah. We will discuss the CSEC findings at the hearing, not before. I see you brought half your crew with you. That's the brown team from Eden Prime. In case you have any questions. I have the mission reports. I assume they're accurate? They are. Sounds like you convinced the council to give us an audience. They were not happy about it. Seren's their top agent. They don't like him being accused of treason. I'm not going to sit on my ass just because the council is not do it. They won't stop Seren either. Settle down, Commander. You've already done more than enough to jeopardize your candidacy for the Spectres. The mission on Eden Prime was a chance to prove you could get the job done. Instead, Nihilus ended up dead and the beacon was destroyed. That's Saren's fault, not hers. Then we better hope the CSEC investigation turns up evidence to support our accusations. Otherwise, the Council might use this as an excuse to keep you out of the Spectres. Come with me, Captain. I want to go over a few things before the hearing. Shepard, you and the others can meet us at the Citadel Tower, top level. I'll make sure you have clearance to get in. And that's why I hate politicians. Yep, politicians are assholes. Welcome to the Citadel, by the way. Mm -hmm. Yep. This is the Citadel. There's a lot of crap to do. So let's get it done already. Yeah. Nope. Oh, shit. No, don't throw a grenade. Got a grenade. I think. Fuck. Okay. Sorry, I accidentally hit the two. My bad. Come in. 
bear with me. Sincere apology, but I am here on business and cannot be distracted right now. You seem distressed. Is there something I can do to help? Alarmed response. You overheard that, did you? This is all going so wrong, and it is the Asari Consort's fault. She's the one who started all this. Who's this Asari Consort? Curious, you have not heard. You must be new to the Citadel. Everyone knows that you are the Consort. I cannot speak more about this problem. It is too sensitive. Suffice it to say, she has compromised my authority as a diplomat. Where can I find the Sasari Consort? She is across the bridge from here. Her offices are easy enough to spot. Good day, Commander. Please greet him. Human, it is always good to see your kind. I am Ambassador Kaon. Genuine query. Is there something I can do for you this day? Tell me more about your species. Genuine enthusiasm. I delight in telling the history of my people. It is agreeable to share our culture with others. Tell me about the history and origins of the Elcor. The Elcor were just beginning to explore Council space when the Asari first made contact with us. With their help, we discovered the relay closest to our system, and from there the Citadel. Proudly. Within one lifetime we established a regular route to the Citadel, and quickly became one of the more active species living on this great station. I'd like to know more about the culture of the Elcor. Frankly, we Elcor prefer the safety and familiarity of our own colonies to the confines of space travel. Our society is built on small, tight-knit groups, so we are always welcoming to outsiders. Our government tends to be very stable. Our people are not very comfortable with sudden changes. Why do you explain what you're about to say? Our people communicate less through words and more through scent and slight movements. Plainly, we discovered our vocal expression was not enough to convey the feelings of our conversations to other species. Why do you bother, Kaelin? These Earth Clan don't really care about our ways. Remorseful response, Din. You don't truly believe that. And if you do, I am very sorry for you. What do you do here? Modestly. I work to bring the problems and the requests of the Elcor groups to the attention of the Council. Ah, they only give us these positions to keep us quiet. The Council doesn't care about our races. Chastising rebuke. Your tone is inappropriate, dear. This human is not to blame for your malcontent or your misconceived suspicions. Goodbye, Ambassador. Sincere farewell. Good day to you, human. Enjoy your time on the Citadel. EarthClan, you are in the wrong place, I think. Your ambassador is next door in the large office. Chastising remark. Don't be so rude, Dan. At least introduce yourself. <sighs> I am Din Korlak, Volus Ambassador. Is there something I can do for you, Earth Clan? I'd like to know more about the Volus. I'm sure our history and culture would bore you, Earth Clan. Frankly, I'm just doing this for the codex entries. Actually, I would like to know more about your history. My people came to the Citadel shortly after the Asari and Salarians had discovered it. We were instrumental in establishing a standardized galactic economy. However, despite our long association with the Citadel and our many contributions to galactic society, we still do not hold a seat on the Council. Goodbye, Ambassador. Yes, yes. Good day, Earth Clan.
Uh, so as you can see, the Citadel is uh, actually kind of boring. Not a lot goes on. We'll do more once we unlock some actual side quests we can do here. First, we just need to go to the council. Thanks.